In this video we will compare a normal beam forming system with a diameter of 80 cm against a giant array with 3 m diameter. We look at the spatial resolution in a drill press application. Furthermore we look at typical applications like door slam, pass by noise of cars and of course the power and performance of a huge array in a wind tunnel. Enjoy! This is Till. Till wants to drill something, but the drill press is very loud. In particular, it hums. A lot of low frequencies are radiated, but where do they come from? To find out, you need special equipment. Fortunately, Till has a visor. With this system, he can discover where on a machine the disturbing noise patterns radiate. 56 microphones are arranged in a logarithmic spiral and do a considerably better job of identifying and locating noise sources than our two human ears can do. This is Tarek. Tarek is new in the company and is impressed by the visor at first sight. But at low frequencies, will the diameter of the array be sufficient? Tarek has an idea. He has put together a new kind of system. something big. Head Acoustics presents Head Visor Flex, the giant array version of the Head Visor. Within the Head Visor Flex system, the microphones can be arranged individually inside a grid panel without any tools. Choose a position and click it in. A wind muff on each microphone ensures a good recording. On the back of the panel, the microphone signals are connected a short distance to a headlab module. The signals are recorded right at the spot where they are captured. Simple, accurate, and effective. Despite the great size, it remains flexible. The three cameras can be tilted, as with the standard spiral visor, in all directions. Therefore, new view angles can be set up quickly. So many microphones. What are the advantages of this big system? That can only be shown in a direct comparison. Initially, here's a recording with the standard spiral visor. The high online performance can be seen at a glance. Even the noise of flying or moving objects can be located precisely. Every result can be seen live, in real time, on the screen. One of the major advantages of the head visor system. It's amazing how fast you can find, analyze, and understand noise sources. We see now the same moment recorded by the Big Visor Flex system. Since the calculations are in the same software, the high online performance is here as well, in spite of the larger number of microphones. So we can also see with the Head Visor Flex where noises are created, even during the recording. Operationally, both systems are equivalent. Let's have a look at different frequency ranges. 5,000 Hertz. Here we see a noise radiation below from the work table and on top from the gear housing. The same moment recorded with the Visor Flex system. Also here, both noise sources are detected at the same spots. Maybe a little bit sharper, but the message is the same. At 1,000 Hertz, we see that the right side of the headstock radiates the noise. The Visor Flex system gives the same result. So up to this point, the more compact and mobile spiral visor is fully suitable. What about low frequencies? With the spiral visor, we see a big spot at 300 Hz that jumps up and down in front of the drill press. But the Visor Flex system shows a stable result. Therefore, we can raise the analysis resolution and can see that the front area of the gear housing radiates this noise. A clear benefit for Tarek. Low frequencies can be better located with the large array. What kind of other applications are there for low frequencies? One typical issue in the automotive industry is the door slam. Let's look at a real vehicle. Such a door closing event happens fast, too fast to understand in real time, though it's measurable and visible in real time. When we press pause, we have full access to time location and time resolution in the visor software. The first contact of the door seal, at top, the air is pressed out. If we move a little bit further, 
we see how the seal below is closing. If we go a little bit further yet, we see the first hard, loud contact. This is the first pawl of the lock. Now the door has finished travel to the rest position. If we go a little bit further, we see the rebound of the door joint. Further, we see a rattle of the handle accompanied by the rattle of the open window in its slot. Finally, the rattle of the mirror glass followed by the rattle of the movable side mirror housing. This is the way we know the head visor software. But what about the low frequencies? Here, at the time of the first hard impact, two low frequency peaks show up. At 150 Hz, we see the middle of the door panel as the main radiator. At 100 Hz, we see the upper door area radiating the noise. The sound maps are precise and clear, thanks to the big visor flex system. What other applications are there? For pass-by measurement, a dedicated distance to the moving object is necessary, but therefore the resolution drops. Let's have a look at a real measurement. In spite of standing very far from the street, we can easily and very clearly locate the noise sources from all the vehicles passing by. With the big visor flex system, we can even zoom in and locate the radiating part of the engine and see its reflection on the ground. On top right, you see the full view. There are more applications where there must be a distance to the measured object, for example, in a wind tunnel. The car is pointed directly into the airstream. The best viewpoint to see all the relevant noise sources is from above the car. For evaluating side wind effects, the car can be rotated on a turntable. Let's check out a real car measurement. The air arrives from the front. The two side mirrors are the obvious noise sources. But if we yaw the car a little bit to one side, we see an effect on the main radiating areas. The right mirror is less noticeable, while the left mirror area gets an additional noise source from the A-pillar close by. This effect increases the more we yaw this car. Let's turn in the other direction. Here we have the situation again with the car into the wind at zero degrees and the noise is radiated from both mirrors. But when we yaw a little bit further, we see how the wind against the A-pillar becomes the dominant noise source. Let's summarize. Both systems use the same software and therefore have the same features. Talking about the dynamic range of the beamforming, the spiral visor gives 14 dB by its shape and can reach higher values with additional algorithms. With the visor flex system, you can reach higher values due to the greater aperture. The advantages of the spiral visor are obvious. It's totally portable. It's assembled in five minutes. So if a noise question comes up, you can directly react, go there, and locate it. The visor flex system can be used best for measurement from a considerable distance, or for measurement dealing with frequencies below 400 Hz. Typical applications for the spiral visor are engine noise, moving objects, or small components. The visor flex system is ideal for use in a wind tunnel, for pass-by or door slam analysis. But what about the drill press? A self-adhesive damping mat is placed in the front of the gear housing, and the 300 Hz noise content is distinctly reduced. 